Hey guys, this is PL Aquascapes and this aquarium is called the Lonely Forest. This is an aquarium that is being taken down and I'm going to show you how to do aquascaping on an aquarium for very cheap without the big price. As you can see here, I have the wall in the back with some moss that I already started taking down as you can see. I see a lot of videos with wall backgrounds but I don't really see a lot of them with the moss. I see people try to post with moss in the background as a wall but they never show how uh, the wall progress as you could see here I'm not sure if you could see that too good but mine grew out very good and I could show you how to do that quickly and for cheap I did not even use any thread or anything like that I'm gonna show you that in the video if you want to see that let me know that will be my next video video but right now I just want to show you the aquarium how it is right now how I got it set up and then I'm taking down some things as you can see here I have some neon tetras in there and I got their algae eater in the back also got me some amano shrimps there in the back if you can see enjoy also got some Daniels here some glow Daniels and some albino guppies as well they all having fun now the algae eater, it was all gray when I got it. And as it continues to grow, the mouth and the face of it is becoming a yellowish color, as you could see. I've never seen one this color before. If you have, let me know in the comments, but I've never seen one like that. It's doing its job they're cleaning some algae but this tank here has um, it, do, it does need a cleaning I need to go ahead and clean up some of that algae inside the tank as you can see there um, I also have tuxedo guppies as well you can see one right there I don't know where his friend went, but it's at least two in the tank. Now another thing is that a lot of people say that it's impossible to have the marimo moss to pearl. Mine are pearling, and no this is not after a water change. It's purling, as you could see there. As you could see there as well. Let me see if I could brighten that up. Nope, that don't help. Yeah, nevertheless, it's it's purling. And um, as you can see, the carpet that I have here, the carpet is all moss. And if you want to see a video on how I did the carpet, let me know. But the carpet that I did here, this is moss I, had, I did not purchase at all. Like I said, I could show you how to do aquascaping for free and, for, and very, very cheap. So the moss I have is right from the wild. And this tank has been set up for several months now and it's been doing well I just need to go ahead and clean up some algae in there 
haven't cleaned it out in, in several months as well. Water is still clear. It's doing well. It's called the Lonely Forest. It's supposed to show you, like when you're walking into a forest that don't have too many trees in it. And part of it is dying. And part of it is striving. As you can see, it has some over here. You will see that it has some tree trunks there that's halfway dead. And you have some here that is halfway dead as well. And also here, you see it's halfway dead there as well. So, it's supposed to be the lonely forest. I have a house plant there with the roots. As you can see there. That's it from the bottom. That's it from the top. So that is definitely helping with the nitrate level. Oh, a matter of fact, the moss carpet is, is it pearls as well. As you can see, this is not after a water change or anything like that. This is just how I got it to pearl. Oh, I have a friend that's coming out there. He's very shy. I call him Blue Mustard. This is a male mustard beta. He's in the back there. He's very, very shy. I wish he'd come out so that you could see his color. He's very beautiful. So his name is Blue Mustard. That's why I call him. His body is like a bluish black and he has that mustard tail going on. Oh, someone else came out to play. This is a silver dollar. They have its pair in there as well. They also like to hide, but... I noticed when I took the moss wall over here down that a lot of the fishes like to go behind of it. And um, okay, so see both of them right there. The two silver dollars, they're doing great in the tank. They like it a lot. So I did not want to take the wall down, but I wanted to put the same moss that I have on the carpet as the backdrop for the mall for them for the wall and um, the wall that I have it's wild moss as well but this moss it it gets algae very quickly in my point of view like after three months it gets algae so okay so there's blue mustard he loves to hide behind that root as well that's probably exactly where he's going at. See? Right behind there. There you go. <laughs> That's his little spot. Well, yeah. So this is um, Incomplete Lonely Forest. Aquascape I did. Everything in here is from the wild. I have purchased nothing. No sticks. No hardscape. Nothing I've purchased. I have here a Nairage snail. Also, I um, have some earthworms in my tank. That's another thing that I don't see a lot of people do. Is put earthworms in, in their tank. A lot of people don't like them. They think it looks ugly. But I actually like them very much. I think they do wonders for your tank. As you can see, I have... Earthworm there as well. And I have another one right here. In the nighttime, when you, when I shut the light off, they come to the top and they eat, believe it or not, they eat algae, um, fish poop, and all that stuff. And then they go back down into the substrate, into the soil. 
and they poop that stuff out in the form of soil, fertile soil. So I have my own, my fish tank decomposed all by itself. So um, earthworms is very good to put in your tank. I have them in there for over six months now. So those who believe that an earthworm cannot live in an aquarium, as long as you have oxygen in your aquarium, they could live there as long, oxygen and food, they could live as long as, as possible. So this is one of the baby silver dollar right there with its pair in the back. A glow red Donio, glow yellow Donio, albino guppies, and tetron neons. Also, I have some amano shrimps, and also two nerite snails, and also um, about three ghost shrimps. They are also hiding back there in the big moss that I take off of the wall. If you want to see me show you how to put that wall up, please put that in the comments. I will definitely do that for my next video because I'm going to go ahead and put the wall up, but I'm going to use the same moss as the carpet. If you like the carpet, give me a like. Let me know what you think about the carpet. If you think I could do something else different, let me know. But I really like this carpet because not only, not only that the whole thing pearls, but if you know anything about silver dollars, they will eat any plant <laughs> that you put in there. So I put this moss in there and they do not eat moss. They do not like the taste at all. They try to nibble on it and they will just spit it out. This is pearling very, very, very bad. So pearling is a good thing though. It shows the photosynthesis within the tank. So let me know what you think about the Lonely Forest. I am going to be updating this pretty soon. Now this also I want to show you is a DIY CO2. I could post a video on how to do this as well. This is not a CO2 canister or anything in that fashion. Uh, this is all a DIY CO2. Fishes are happy. Tank just need a little bit of cleaning and some updating. So my next video I'm gonna go ahead and do that wall for you. Show you exactly how I do it. And um, I'm going to try to use the same moss that I had at the, at the carpet. As you can see right there, earthworm, he's right there close to that nerite snail. Alright, so there's blue mustard. He looked like he looked like he came out to play. Try to zoom in on him a little bit. He's a beautiful... Beautiful little fish. I just like how his shade is mixed with that blue and that mustardy color. We got the camera to focus a little bit here. All right. Then I got my algae eater there. You see, this is a good picture of his his face. It's turning yellow. Well, orange, I should say. And there up there, there's a tuxedo guppy. Along with the albino guppy and the Daniels. There's another, there's a ghost, no, that's a, 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 a mono shrimp in the back there. 
to have her daughter hiding. And I have a gold shrimp that's trying to come out. Like I say, they like to go by the the wall there. I'm not sure if you can see the little gold shrimp right there. All the way in the back. So that's him. I have about three gold shrimp in here. Look where blue mustard is going. They love this moss wall. He loves to lay on it and everything. So let me know if you like the name Blue Mustard. That's why I call him his, again, his body is a dark blue and he has that tail, a mustard color with borders of, of blue on it. That's why I call him Blue Mustard. Let me know if you like that name. So. So the DIY CO2 is, is running. I'm gonna show you how that how that goes. I'm gonna definitely make a video to show you how I do that DIY CO2. I don't have any canisters or anything like that. Let me see if I could show you a little bit of the setup here. So this is a little mess here, but this is the CO2 is just a gallon right here. Yeast and water and sugar. Here's another one there. And I joined them the tea right here. I have the valve. And then it goes down into here. So just a DIY CO2. It's been running for way over a month now. So it's very cheap. You don't have to spend all that money on uh, CO2 um, gas and canisters and all that stuff. The dispenser that I got, I got it from Amazon for six bucks. The two from Walmart and bottle of water. On this tank here I'm running um, a small canister filter along with a back filter. I hang on the back filter. So I have another beta as well. I also have a um, a golden molly and a Mickey platy and I have a female beta, beta that I had in here but Blue Mustard actually do not like her, so I don't know why, but Blue Mustard do not like that female beta. He don't want to mate with her or anything like that, so I took her out and put her in the tank. Look how beautiful he is. So let me know in the comments which fish you like the most. Like the albino guppies, you like the tuxedo guppy, like right there. The neon tetras, the glow yellow daniels, the orange glow daniels, blue mustard, the algae eater. Or if you like the silver dollar that's hiding back there. I have two silver dollars and also the albino shrimps. It's a mono shrimp right here, it's very big. So, it's one, two, three, so okay, so we got three of them right here. Those are the three amanos I have. They are growing very fast. And the ghost shrimp, they love to hide. Yep, they're just eating away. And the ghost shrimp is back here. Not sure if you can see him too well. So he's back there doing his thing. There's two more ghost shrimp in here as well. Anyway, 
Let me know if y'all like the video. Let me know what y'all would like to see next. Y'all want me to do the DIY CO2, show you how to hook that up and to make it last for over a month. And even what I like about it is that even if it does run out, say five months pass and it runs out, all you have to do guys is add probably like three tablespoons of yeast and probably a half a cup of sugar. Shake it up and you back in business. That's it. So no expensive CO2 tanks and all that stuff. Let me know if you all like it. Let me know what you all don't like. Also comment um, about the fish. Which fish you all like. And um, anything else you would like me to add in here. Let me know what you think about Blue Mustard. He's very shy. And next video I'll show you more about um, the other fishes I have. I have them in a, another 10 gallon tank. This one is a 30 gallon. Snail right snail. And let me know what y'all think about earthworms in your aquarium, guys. I, I'm like one of the only person I see that has earthworms in their tank and on purpose. And also um, the wall that actually has grown out. And I could show you how to do a wall and I will definitely keep updating the, the wall as it grows. The moss walls. So this is going to be coming down, guys. Let me know what you all think. Take care. Bye-bye.